So this lesson is on solving uh, or multiplying matrices. Sorry. Um, so a couple of pieces of information that are very important. In order to multiply two matrices, you have to look at their dimensions. Okay, and their dimensions are going to be important. We said if we add and subtract matrices, they had to be exactly the same dimension. But when you are multiplying matrices, you have to look at the dimensions so that the rows of the first matrix are the same as the columns of the second matrix. Now the easiest way to do that is to just write both of the dimensions down. So here I've written that uh, matrix A, this one right here, has uh, one row and three columns, okay? And then matrix B, which is right here, has three, column, three rows and one column. Now what you want to make sure is the same right here. The rows in the first column have got to equal the columns in the second one. Rows in the first matrix have to equal the columns in the second matrix. Therefore, we could multiply these two matrices. Okay? And so we are going to uh, we're going to practice with this one in just a second. Okay? So just looking at these, this is the first one we just did. So let's look at this second one. If A is a 2 by 3 and B is a 3 by 2, is the rows of column A the same as the columns in uh, matrix B? I keep saying columns there. The rows in matrix A are the same as the columns in matrix B. So we could multiply these. So that's a yes. All right, so let's look at this one. For this one, we have a 2 by 3. And then for B, we have a 2 by 2. And remember, rows in the first matrix have to equal columns in the second matrix. And they do. It does not matter what happens in here. The first, the uh, rows in the first one and the columns in the second one have to be the same. So we could multiply all of these, okay? Now we're going to practice with these three. Uh, but you've got to follow what we're doing, okay? Because it is a little bit complex, and you have to keep up with what you're doing, all right? Now, I'm visual, so I write everything down, and it helps me keep things in place, all right? So, you write it down if you want. You don't have to, but uh, I think it would be beneficial to you. All right, so what we have to do in order to multiply these two matrix is that we have to take each row, and I'm going to put solution, S. Our solution is the first column, the first row, and the first column of this combined matrices. All right, and this is how we have to do it. So we're going to take this row, okay, and this column. So we say 1 times 4, we're going to add to that the 2 times the 5, we're going to add to that the 3 times the 6. All right, and that's going to be an entry, one entry, okay? Now let's just look and see what these, matri these uh, dimensions are. This is a 1 by 3. And this is a 3 by 1. So our solution is going to be a 1 by 1. We're going to get one number. Okay? So this is 5 plus 10 plus 18. So uh, 28, 33. So our mate solution matrix is one entry because our um, row for the first matrix and our column to the second matrix said we're going to have one entry, one row, one column, and that entry is a 33. Okay, now that's a little bit a little bit more complicated, but let's look at an, another one. Let's see if we can get the gist of this process, okay? 
All right. All right, so to m multiply these two matrices, we're just going to look at the dimensions first. So this is a 2 by 3, and this is a 3 by 2. Now look at your entries here. Rows, columns, they are a 2 by 2. That's what our solution is going to be, a 2 by 2 matrix. Now how do we find those entries? Okay, we are our solution is going to be first row, first column. We are also going to have to look at first row, second column. Because remember, if we have a 2 by 2, we have entries in these four places, and we have to get that entry. So first row, first column, just like we did in that other problem. So let's look at it. 2 times 1 plus 1 times 0, sorry, didn't mean to put that, plus negative 3 times 1. So I took this row, multiplied it by this column, okay? Now I've got to take this same row and multiply it by the second column, so this column. So 2 times negative 4, 1 times 2, and then negative 3 times 0, okay? So let's get these first two entries. First row, first column will be here, all right? That's 2, and that's 0, and then minus 3. So negative 1 goes in that position. First row, first column in my solution. And then our first row, second uh, column, we have a negative 8, and a 2, and then that's 0, so 10, um, negative 6. First row, second column. Now, we also have to do the second row, so we're going to do the same thing. Second row, first column, second row, second column, okay? Second row, so that's this one here, 0 times this first column, times 1, plus 1 times 0, plus 2 times 1, okay? Now we're going to take that same row and multiply it by the other column. 0 times the negative 4, 1 times the 2, and 2 times the 0, okay? So second row, first column, that's here. We have 0, 0, and 2, so 2 is our answer. Second row, second column, that's here, we have 0, 2, and 0, so 2. So this is the solution matrix for multiplying these two, okay? All right, I want to try one more, I believe. All right, I want you to pause the video, and I want you to try this one, and then turn the video back on and make sure that you did it right, okay? So pause it, back it up a little bit if you need to look and see what we did on the last one, okay? And then go from there. All right, so let's look at this one. It is a two rows by four. A 2 by 4. And the second one is a 4 by 2. Okay? So we definitely can multiply them together because the rows in the first one and the columns in the second one are the same. And our solution is going to be a 2 by 2. Okay? So that's what we're looking for in our solution. We have a 2 by 2. All right, so let's look. First row times the first column, all right? First row, 1 times 5, 0 times 0, negative 2 times negative 1, and 3 times 4. All right, and remember, we're adding in between. So let's get that entry. That's 5, that's 0, that's 2, and then 12. So that gives us 19 as our first row, 
first column entry. Okay. Now let's do the first row second column. So that's 1 times negative 1, 0 times 2, 3 times negative 2, sorry, negative 2 times 3, I went backwards there, and then 3 times 2. All right, now the zeros are going to cancel, but we have negative 1 minus 6 plus 6. Okay, so those go away, and our first row second column entry is a negative 1. All right, so let's do our next entry. So this is going to be our second row, first column. Okay, so second row, 2, first column, 5, 1 times 0, 4 times negative 1, and then negative 1 times 4. Okay. So we have a 10, not 0, minus 4, minus 4. So 10 minus 8 is a 2 in our second row first column entry, 2. Now let's do our second row second column. So now we're going to pick up these numbers in the column. So that 2 times negative 1. 1 times 2, 4 times 3, and then negative 1 times 2. So we end up with negative 2 plus 2, they will cancel, plus 12 minus 2. So we get 10 for our second row, second column entry. Okay, so this is our solution matrix once we multiply. Okay, so this one, let's look at it. We have a 2 by 3, and then we have a 3 by 4. All right, remember the rows in the first matrix have to equal the columns in the second one. And since these do not equal, then this is an undefined. We cannot multiply these two matrices together, okay? So I want to start this last one. I don't know that I'll be able to finish it, but I do want us to talk about what kind of entries it would have and then go through the process. So this is a 3x3 three three and a 3x3. Three three. So if both matrices are the same measure, then you can solve. Our solution is going to be a 3x3 three three solution. Okay, so we're going to have 9 entries. You are going to do each one, first row, first column, first row, second column, first row, third column. All right, you're going to find those solutions. Then you're going to go second row, first column, second row, second column, and second row, third column. Then you're going to have to do the third row. So third row, first column, third row, second column, third row, third column. So this is going to take a little bit of math. Now they're little numbers, so it's 2 times 2 plus 0 times 0 plus 5 times 1. All right, 2 times 1 plus 0 times 1 plus 5 times 0. 2 times 1 plus 0 times 0 plus 5 times 0. Okay, so we took this first row and multiplied them by each of these columns, okay? So that's 4 plus 5. So that gives us 9 here. 2 for this first row, second column, that's here. And then those two are zeros and 2 for that first row, third column, okay? So you'll go through this process. Next, you're going to take the second row and multiply by each of these columns, all right? And I would suggest you write it out because if you try to keep all that in your head, you're going to make a mistake, okay? So good luck.